Hi, my name is Aran and welcome to part 2 of my Roll20 Master series. This one is about the Beyond20 extension. You might be asking yourself what does an extension have to do with Roll20? What does an extension that looks to be about D&D Beyond have to do with Roll20? Well, that's about it. If you're using D&D Beyond and Roll20, especially if you've bought a lot of material on D&D Beyond and you're a free or non compendium paid user of Roll20, then you really need to have this extension. This is for players and for game masters if you have most or all of your material on D&D Beyond, but you still want to use Roll20 for all the features that it has. What Beyond20 allows you to do is use your material from D&D Beyond in Roll20. That includes characters and monsters. First of all, installation. You can find it on the Chrome Web Store. Just look up Beyond20. Just install it, and you can see already from the screenshots that I've been rolling what exactly you can do with it. And it also has a quick demo, you can see exactly what it does. So just go to the Chrome Web Store and install it, or if you're a Firefox user, it's also available there. Thank you very much to the creator, Kakaroto, for making this unbelievably useful extension. Let me show you how it works. First of all, I would recommend that if you have any extensions that modify D&D Beyond, especially by adding interaction to it, for example, the D&D Beyond Interaction extension, turn that one off. Otherwise, it will conflict and be annoying. Secondly, after you've installed and activated Beyond 20, reload your Roll20 tab to make sure that the extension follows it. Then go to your D&D Beyond page, wherever you want to use it. For example, this is my monk character. And as you can see, I already have the Beyond 20 button all set up here. For starters, let's go over what features it enables. You can set the Whisper and Advantage toggles like you do on Roll20. You can hide or show the monster or the attack. You can add the Quick Roll areas on the main page, which is mostly most useful. Auto Roll Damage and Crit, I also recommend you turn on. It can add Initiative to the Initiative Tracker. It can use Tiebreakers, which I also highly recommend that you use. It can update the VTT token's HP, but you must make sure that the token, the token exists in Roll20. It has a character sheet attached. You don't need to fill out the character sheet, you just need to have the name of the character sheet be exactly the same as the name of the character that you have on D&D Beyond. Then it works. I've checked it. You can set which character sheet it rolls on. I prefer to use the default Roll20 character sheet. If you output something that is a description, for example, a spell, but it has a rolling component inside it, then that can be clickable from inside Roll20. And you can even add that to the descriptions inside D&D Beyond to automatically roll it. You can add rollable buttons to all the various forms of the character sheet. And technically, while Beyond20 allows you to roll to other VTTs, if you're using Roll20, set it to only use Roll20 tabs I'm not taking responsibility for anything, any other setting. And I can also add custom formulas for d20 rolls or for damage rolls. For example, this is a warlock character, so I added an additional hex if the target is hexed. Finally, once you've set everything you want, just click save, OK, and everything's set up, and everything you want just rolls on roll 20. For example, here's a charisma check, here's an initiative check. You can use your actions to attack from here. And if you have anything that requires a roll, you can roll it immediately from here. Or you can click the display, show everyone what it is, and roll from here. If I load up a spellcasting character and use it too, I can cast. the already Eldritch Blast with everything attached, including the hex I've set. And if you have that spellcasting character, you can also use your level spell like this. Just select your level spell and click the regular D&D Beyond cast with the slot. And it will decrease the slot number here. So as you can see, the slot is used. And it will also cast that spell into Roll20 so everyone can see. And spells on display work exactly the same. Here is Shatter and you take Thunder Damage. As you can see, this works the same way with monsters. You have a Beyond 20 customization option right here, and when I click, now you can see the giant spider rolled stealth.
And that's it for the Beyond 20 extension. I hope you enjoyed the video. I highly recommend you check it out. And thank you for watching.